Greetings and welcome Patricians to another episode of Let's Play Patrician 3. Alright. Profits are a little bit down. Wealth of the company is okay. I'm just not rich enough, I guess. So next year, well, six months or something. Uh, could do some odd jobs, perhaps. And there's no odd jobs available. All right, let's just speed through this a little bit. Is there anything I can prep for? I mean, we don't need any more grain at this stage. So there's no point in all doing that. We are plenty of... There's plenty of fish here. I mean, do we even consume enough fish? Let's see, we'll produce... 14 fish. Yeah, we've got enough fish. Damn it. Run. <laughs> yeah, do that, please. Keep doing that. See Kaito's this weapons complement is, but it's probably heavier than mine. In. I mean, they might not be able to catch me in time. But it doesn't help that you were sailing against the wind. Faster than me. I mean, I would have tried to distract them with the uh, North Sea angle, but that was not going to happen. And they're slowing down. Is the wind turning against us? Yeah, it is. That's still not quite in my favor. Because it slows me down as well, but... Thank you. 
See, it's stuff like this that gives me trust issues. <sighs> I mean, I can't handle Baneke with this many ships. Maybe if I had two craters that are fully armed and operational, but I do not. And the wind keeps shifting. Right, we're getting a good breeze now. He's not gonna catch us at this rate. Some initial sale success. That's good. Alright, so when's my next ship coming out? Right. Uh, oof. New iron smelter is ready for use. Uh, Alright, so it's getting workers. That's fine. That's Probably gonna happen at this rate. Could I consider building some housing here? A yeah, gabled house, a merchant's house probably wouldn't hurt. Ship trade, tax bill, yeah. What are you complaining about? Damn it. I bought wood again. Alright, so the overall production has gone up to 11. That should be more than enough to keep my uh, facilities working as intended. Yeah, I may have to add another defensive ship in that particular lineup. Plenty of poor people in town. Yeah, we ran out of whale oil. Not something I we can really do about. I mean, there's some whale oil here, but that's still building. Right, making more money again. Profits made. Also, I should probably set up Lubeck and then just transfer everything to office. And then I should probably save that route. Right, save as. North Sea, because that should have been in there. Yep. And Baneki strikes again. Well, hopefully it's not someone I know. Cog is finished. Right, let us move on. I was build, busy building uh, trading posts everywhere. I may as well do that. Oh, right. 
need to put some crew on boards. <laughs> Forgot for a bonus. That's kind of crucial for a ship. I mean, eventually this one will join the North Sea convoy, but for now it's not necessary because my profit margin just isn't big enough. As in, barely present at this stage. Still plenty of skins coming in. Not sure skins are actually a uh, function of something I need to do. Right, ship trade. Right. Need a little bit more money. to buy wood. Then no wood in this town? That's plenty of wood. I just don't have the money. Let's pray for money. Oh God, please, please make me wealthy beyond my wildest dreams. That's how prayer works, right? Office. Damn it. Right. It's fine. Ah, uh, sure. Let's create some goodwill in places that I'm currently not really working. biggest concern for me right now is just to keep building up and building up Lubeck so that it will stay happy. So I kind of need to make sure that the meat supply stays coming in. And people eat a lot of meat here. Am I producing enough meat? So I kind of need to overproduce it a bit. Uh, production of seven, is that enough? Might be enough. Alright. Karl Stow can go back to Lubeck. Uh, any notices? Wool in Rostock. Seven wool, eh? I don't have any wool on me. Not brilliant. Let's just sell down my uh, supply of wood and timber. I mean, I still need it for stuff and all, but not quite that much. At least this gives me a way to keep tabs on the various regions. Alright, so how's my wealth? Still going up. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's start bribing stuff. Right. Pittance? Right. Sheesh. You're on an expensive date. And now I'm broke. The money is still flowing in, but... Alright, the Hildegard is still bringing in decent enough money. Well, it is profits, but that's nice. And again, the cloth is out. Uh, well, it was that was the reason why we were setting up over here. We wanted to set up a sheep farm. And all the loy is that expensive. Yeah, bye indeed. Did they raise the taxes while I was away? I mean, what is the tax bill right now? <sighs> That's just the wages that are so damn expensive. But we're still making an overall profit, so... Can I build the trading office here now? Close. I just need to sell a little bit. Just a teeny bit. That's fine, alright. And then we can set up Oslo. Alright. Come on back, Kalsto. Is the production affected by winter? Doesn't look like it is. No, it's still seven. At least we can check on the goods here. No leather and meat. That's weird. No, it's not that weird, but... But for sure they'd have some. Nah, I'm trying to sell leather and meat, am I? Hmm. Well, at least that should fetch me a pretty penny. And let's set up our goods for the... Uh, for the sheep farm. How much is that again? Uh, 20, 20. All right, well, I can get all of that on board the couch, too. 
Yeah, I don't want to buy it. I have it in storage. Now, apparently I can't get it all aboard the couch though. That's fine. In any case, that'll do for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.